In this video, we're going to explore how to use the JSON.parse in JavaScript. And the JSON is a really useful item to understand because with JSON, you can start to communicate as JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. Very complicated, basically, but basically it is text that is in a object or like an array, an object. Remember, an object consists of two items, a key value and the value itself. So the key and the value pair. Now I'll show you later on what it is exactly. And if you see my other videos, you will understand it as well. And JSON is basically used to communicate in different languages. However, it's always a string base, meaning that if we're going to use it in JavaScript, we need to parse JSON, which means convert it into a JavaScript object so that JavaScript itself can read it correctly. So let's start and explore. And basically the differences are so minimal that you might get confused here. So let's start and explore how to make a object first. So we have here our HTML file, and this is our, our template here. And what we're going to do now is explore here the following. We're going to put in here a few items and it's creating a object in JSON. So if we have that, let's say we have a new constant, and this constant consists of employee. And this employee data has the following. Remember, it's a string, so we do single quotations first. And in here, we will start to use curly brackets. This is very important because curly brackets is, is designed for objects. All right. So now what we're going to do here is basically put in the item. So let's say we have a employee, we say first, and we have to make sure that this is double quoted or quotation, double quotation here. Yes, it's very important. In JSON, double quotations on every single item, except for numbers. Dates, if you're going to use dates and a month or whatever, as well, those need to be quote, uh, quoted as well, double quoted. All right, so we have here, let's say here we have the first one is James, comma, and then we have the next one is the last name, and last name should be also double quotation, and then in here the last name will be West, so James West, and then we have here the, uh, let's say the position, position or job then here manager all right so we have here a few values so what we're going to do now is if you want to display the values we're not able to do it immediately if you are familiar with J within JavaScript objects you can do it immediately so let's let's try so let's make a console.log and show in these values here so let's say we want to get the employee value of first. So employee name. So we say employee as the variable or the constant dot first. And if we do this and save this, you you will you want to expect James. But of course it doesn't work here because we didn't parse this yet. So if we refresh here and open up this, what do we see here? Undefined. And the reason why it's undefined is because we didn't parse it. If we would remove this then in this case it starts to become what we call a proper object for javascript already oh sorry without this of course these are not allowed so we save this so as you can see now we have james however json is an is basically a string so that's why you have the other command called stringify because it's a string converting it back to a string however this one here to parse we need to clean up or remove all of those quotations here and of course you can do this by hand but imagine you have a list with 20 different items it's not possible of course it's not practical so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new variable we will say here employee parse and this will be of course another const this is our constant and this one here we will say here now json dot parse and what are we going to parse well we're going to parse the employee details of this variable here the moment we do this we can now adjust this by using this constant 
because this one has now been cleaned up, made suitable for JavaScript. And now if we save, we can see now refresh, now we see James. That is exactly what we want. And imagine we want to have the last, we put it in here, we see James, and then now it's West, that's correct. And what happened if you would say we want to have two variables together and then we concatenate them so it's a plus and then we put in here plus so we have a space between and then we show again another variable or in this case the last name so let's save this refresh and now you see oh, this is last let's make this first this is two times west oh, here now you can see James West and this is basically how you can work with JSON. And JSON is just basically parsing the data through here. So if you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding this, put them in the comment section below. And I'll make sure I'll reply back to you. And if you are interested in learning Chart.js, check out my Udemy course. And I have a link below in the description box you can find the link there click on and you'll find a complete course about chart.js